Hey, David, how you doing? Hey, good. Good, so David's going for his Master's of Applied Science. In Aerospace Science and Engineering. So you know all about planes. I do. Great, yeah. so what does this have to do with planes? What is this? So this is a water channel, and it allows us to test airplanes in it before we put them in the sky. Great, we'll have my airplane, and we'll just put it in here, and we'll test it. Please, it's made of paper. Yeah? And in the water, it becomes soggy. Well, well, how do we test our paper airplane if we can't put it in the water? Well, this is a, a, a classic uh, airfoil shape. Yes. Now, is that what you call it, airfoil? An airfoil, yeah. So the cross-sectional shape of a wing is called an airfoil. Okay. Uh, and that's what generates the lift. Fortunately, air and, and water are both fluids, so they behave in the same way. I can push ink into the water, and that's going to allow us to see how the fluid flows over the aircraft. So if you tilt its nose up a little bit, you'll be able to see that the shape of the airfoil is actually pushing the water downwards. Oh, yeah. And You're right. The, the ink doesn't go straight. It goes. It yeah, follows the it wing follows down. It follows the shape of the wing down and we have a lower pressure on the top of the wing and a higher pressure on the bottom of the wing, which pushes it upwards. Right, generating and that, lift. that creates lift. Exactly. So do you, you guys use this all the time in, in aerospace? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty Absolutely. neat. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Facts, experiments at large.